marriage exists as the doing of God and as the display of God. There is no other institution like it. Nothing even comes close to this design as a display of God, His love, His Son, His covenant. An excellent wife who can find her, for her worth is far above jewels. Naomi Lingdo, this day, as we stand before God and these witnesses, I enter this covenant with you, understanding that this marriage is not about you or I or even both of us, but Christ alone. Praise God for Jesus Christ. By grace, I take you to be my wife. I enter this covenant with you to be faithful to the scriptures, to cleanse you by the washing of water with the word. I'll be faithful to remind you of Christ and his gospel. I promise to love you, nourish you, and cherish you, just as Christ also does his church. By God's grace, I, Naomi, humbly and gratefully receive you, Daniel, to be my husband as God's gift to me. I promise to honor, respect, and to lovingly submit in everything to you as a God-instituted leader of our household, just as the church should submit to Christ, her eternal head. By grace, I take you to be my wife. Children are a gift from the Lord. I promise you, that our quiver will be full of tiny cute sinners running around and creating havoc whether they are going to carry our DNA or not. I know there will be times when I will fail you to keep these vows. But when that happens, will you gently remind me to look to Christ and to love you by grace. I pray that the power of the resurrected Christ living in us will enable us to rise above difficult times and circumstances. I promise to lovingly offer grace and forgiveness to you as Christ does to me. For as long as God grants us breath, by God's enabling grace, let us worship the high and exalted King, declare the finished work of Christ to the nations, minister with all our strength, and joyfully abide in the true vine that is Christ. I know you might not believe me, but it is true. <laughs> and I know I don't really say this very often, and I guess you have never heard that come from me, like verbally. But then, right now, I just want to say, like, I am very proud to be your younger sister, and you've really helped me to see like a better future. And then, seeing you, like, how God have worked in you and everything, like, you have also really like be like connected again when it comes to faith and I've really learned so much from you. And definitely he has inspired me in so many ways. He came here, uh, you know, for a job um, here, but he didn't just find a job here, but he also found the love of his life, you know. Uh, his better half, his wife, Naomi. Uh, so not sure if he had thought of, you know, uh, finding wife in this land, 
Uh, but definitely God definitely had that plan from the eternity past that he occurred in his time. And this is the sovereign act of God, we believe. Another thing that I've noticed about Daniel is like, he's like a human GPS. He doesn't get lost. And he always knows like where he's going. He knows where the north is, where the south is. And every and when, when, when you go with Daniel, you know that you're not going to get lost. He knows his way around. And in the same way, spiritually, I would say Daniel, he is the man who will point you to, to the truth and he will not let you astray. Uh, I've known Naomi for, I think, uh, nine years now. We met uh, in, uh, when she joined uh, Pine Mount uh, for 11-12, so I met her that time. But uh, when Naomi first told me about you, I did pray for you. And today I watched you marry my best friend and my sister as well. And I'm so happy that God brought you and Naomi together. And I'm really excited to see where He is going to take both of you and use you for His glory. Uh, and God has not just united uh, Daniel and Naomi, uh, uh, but God has united two families from different countries and different cultures. And we are very thankful to God for that.